Arizona School for the Arts helped prepare our daughter, Kelsey Rogensock, for one of the most prestigious and elite colleges in the country, Williams College. And it prepared her on all levels. Yes, Kelsey played piano, and yes, she played double bass, and yes, she danced ballet. But she also had a rigorous background in mathematics and in the sciences, in literature, and in history. And ultimately, her love for history, which began as a seed at Arizona School for the Arts, became her major at Williams College. Our son David uh, entered the school on the day it started. So he was um, founding or a charter, charter kid in the eighth grade. Today he is a ballet dancer and he dances for two companies, American Ballet Theater in New York City and the Bolshoi in Moscow, Russia. He was the first American to ever be invited to join the Bolshoi. Our son Scott Fitzsimmons is a senior at ASA this year. And he's a recipient of the Flynn Foundation Scholarship, which is a full ride to any Arizona State School. Next year, he'll be studying mechanical engineering at Barrett Honors College at ASU. One of the exciting things that students at ASA are prepared to do is to think about their future while they are in college and their future as they go past college. One of the great opportunities that Kelsey received was to be able to apply for and receive the Fulbright Award. What ASA did was prepare Kelsey for that Fulbright. It is a rigorous undertaking. It requires not only great writing skills, but it also requires a background which involves learning, the ability to translate and communicate your ideas, the ability to give to a community and understand what that means, and the ability to have a uniqueness. And one of the things that is great about Arizona School for the Arts is every student is embodied with the belief and the understanding that they are unique and they bring their own special skills and talents to the table. I believe that every student at Arizona School for the Arts will be prepared to apply for a Fulbright. David started dancing when he was nine years old and he was a little tap dancer. He wanted to be the next Fred Astaire. When he came to this school, it wasn't because of ballet. It was because of the culture, the arts focus, and the safety of the environment. We kind of knew for a long time that we needed an environment where um, David could thrive and, and obviously where he was going to school was not working out at all. And um, so we went to this first meeting and, and left and knew exactly. We had, um, we had found the promised land, so to speak. I would say that initially our primary interest was the academic standards that the school set. Our son was artistic, but we had no clue that he would end up being uh, as focused and as good as he is. One of the things that makes ASA unique as a performing arts school is the confidence that your child will build participating in orchestra or band, or in our situation, Scots and Jazz Band. And he's really learned to work as part of a team. You know, the jazz band tosses solos back and forth, and they actually do some rewriting of music together. So he's really learned to work as a team. And I think it's important for a child to have that experience and also to feel confident and that they've achieved something that, you know, doesn't have to be on the baseball field or the football field, as it is in so many of our public schools. Arizona School for the Arts is a gift that keeps on giving. From the beginning of the first day of your child in school, through graduation, through college, and as they go on to life. I think Kelsey will always be one of those alums who supports the school and looks back and says, I am who I am today because of Arizona School for the Arts.